Hi, my name is Jennifer Willis-Jones. I head up nitrogen coverage at CRU Fertiliser Week. I talked about the latest outlook for ammonia prices. I looked at all the different ammonia prices across the globe. I also covered urea and I also looked at the impact on the CO2 industry and how we're going to see ammonia producers look to decarbonize but also to capture carbon in order to make the most of the higher prices. The ammonia prices have been extremely volatile over the last few years. We saw a huge peak in 2022 as we saw surging natural gas prices, so that's much higher feedstock. Uh, so that resulted in much higher ammonia prices, especially um, seen in Europe, and then we saw plant shutdowns. Um, what we expect over the next couple of uh, years is obviously we've got additional capacity, as I've mentioned in my presentation, coming onto the market, and that will pressure ammonia prices over the short term and medium term period. I would say the outlook for ammonia will continue uh, to be volatile. Um, obviously, ammonia producers in Europe will keep a close eye on the natural gas prices uh, to see uh, where they go. Obviously, lower gas prices are better for ammonia producers, uh, but we're still way above those costs that we were in 2019, for example. So that continues to put pressure on the market. I found the session really, really interesting because we looked, we did a big a deep dive into carbon, especially, uh, especially kind of uh, bio biogas, biofuel. So I found that really, really interesting to me how the distribution of uh, CO2 or rather the purchasing of CO2 needs to be distributed across a wider area. So yeah, I had a few learning points for me there. I would say keep a really, really close eye on what's going to happen with ammonia production going forward. Uh, you can contact me for more information, but yeah, you need to watch out for natural gas prices. You need to watch out what ammonia production is going to do, and that will affect availability of CO2 going forward. But also look at the initiatives for decarbonisation and the carbon capture and storage. Amazing, Jennifer. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, well, great. For, um, Sorry, I was for break.